Hi, and thanks for joining me on my channel today. I've got an unboxing that I'd like to share with you. And it was the TSV on QVC last week. It is the new Salaria, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Florentine leather bag. And I want to share this with you. And it is in the color Bordeaux. I got the satchel. They had an option of this and a crossbody. So let's just dive in. I knew that the Bordeaux would be dark. Oh my God. It is coming off a little darker on TV, but it is beautiful. It looks almost like eggplant like an actual eggplant. It is very dark, but it is true of plum color. And in person, it is gorgeous. It looks like money. Well, I spent enough, so it is money. But <laughs> it's a gorgeous bag. Let me take this off and see how big it is. Um, when I ordered this, my concern was that it was going to be small because, as a lot of you know, the last few times that QVC has had a TSV, the dimensions have been off. So that was truly a concern. So I compared them to Dooney and Burke's website to see, and I felt comfortable and confident that it would be a large enough bag. And it is. Oh, it is gorgeous. I'm very excited. And so it has the attachable strap, and we're going to pull that out, dust bag. All right, here it is. And I know that they mentioned on television that this new strap for this new leather had suede on the back. So I'm curious to see what that is. Oh, that's very nice. Let me take that completely off and share that. Uh, I might. Oh, there we go. The suede on the underside is absolutely wonderful. It is very soft, but I could see where it would help your purse. Oh, that's awesome. So when you have that, when you put it on your, sh on your shoulder, you won't get the slipping. This side is very smooth. And so if you had this on a jacket or shirt, it would constantly slip off of your shoulder. Peter, I'm impressed. There are a few other bags that they really do need to put this suede on the underside of the straps in order for it to stay. That's amazing. I like that a lot. It's got the two, so you can actually take the middle piece out and make it a short shoulder. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I'm gonna take that off. And the inside of the bag, I'm gonna take this out. I was disappointed when they were going over the bag on QVC that the inside was not suede. Or as some of the Florentine bags, the Cassidy and the Claire, the interior of the bag are leather. This is not. This is more of a linen lining. I do like the light color, but I think that they could have done that in a nicer material considering the bag is supposed to be Florentine. Uh, the material for the bag, it really reminds me, oh, it, it smells good. It doesn't smell like regular Florentine, but the leather does smell good. You can, it does have that aroma to it. Um, the leather reminds me very much of Alto. It's sturdy, it's a very nice leather, and it's almost... I'm not going to scratch it, 
but I'm trying to scratch it because I want to see. Oh, so it's definitely not Alto. Because if I would have done that to an Alto bag, I'd be crying. So it does have a little more wear than Alto. So I like it for that. It is a very nice bag. Uh, the opening on this is huge. The one thing I can see already that I'm not too thrilled about is this. It's stopping right here. The zipper itself, I guess I could take it out, but then that doesn't really make sense. Ugh. If I take this part out, I can unzip it. Oh no, you can't. Okay. That's where the stops. That's a problem. So you're not getting the full opening of the mouth on this side. You're fine over here, but this kind of stops it on that side. So still be able to put a full size wallet in here. Um, be able to get quite a bit in here. Matter of fact, let's see what we can get in here. All right, based on the bag that I was carrying for the day, which is a non dooney bag, so I'm sorry, Peter. I was cheating. It's a gorgeous bag. It's on QVC as well, and it is Oriani. Absolutely love the leather. Beautiful bag. Maybe I'll do something on this later. But I've got my full-size Willis. That fits in there. I've got... Patricia Nash, Carrington, like, and that fits in there. Those things fit in there, and I've got plenty of room. I think I'm in love. And what else do I have in my purse? I've got my tech stuff, and I've got a coin wallet. I still have room for my cell phone. I could put my tablet in between here. That's plenty of room for my tablet. So, I am ecstatic. I love her. The color is gorgeous. I definitely am entertaining getting gray. <sighs> Did I say that? But I really like it. So, I will be doing a review later on after I've carried her. But I don't even know if I need to. You see how big she is. You see what fits in her, and the setup is the same. I've got the two slip pockets on the front. One is bigger than the other. As well, on the back wall, I've got the zip, and then just the open flap there. I am very impressed with the bag. I do love the fact that they have collared the leather on the sides I'll show you better on this side so you're not gonna have when it starts to hold the bag you're gonna get even distribution with that right there so I really like it I'm really glad that Peter and Dooney are starting to listen to us they still haven't done anything with this mm. Peter can we get gold hardware at least I miss the leather, but I'll deal with this, but just, can I get gold hardware? Does it match anything? Now, if you're going to do a bag, and do a black bag or a gray bag, and do gunmetal hardware, that might be where it's at. Just a thought. So, my unboxing of the Solero, Solera, <laughs> Florentine leather satchel, dome satchel, is that... I am pleased. I'm looking forward to carrying her. And if you don't have one, if you thought about it, you might want to go check it out. I'm very pleased. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great evening. And remember, as always, find something to be thankful for. Until next time.